Hello guys. So we are now at Kuala uh, They call this region Muslim town uh, in Manila. So as you can see, there is a golden mosque here. Oh, yeah. fine. Yeah, are you Muslim? Yes. You are Muslim? I am mean, not. So, so you from Mindanao? Yeah, Mindanao. Mindanao. Yes. You are from Mindanao also? No. Oh, yeah. I'm from China. Ah, China. Yeah. I'm from. Okay. Uh, I'm from Xinjiang. Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard of Xinjiang? Mm -hmm, yeah, no. Huh? Yes, you don't know that. Yeah. Okay, no problem. Yeah. I will go inside. Mm -hmm. This is the entrance, I guess. Oh, many kids here <laughs> playing around. We have to leave our shoes here. Okay, let's go inside. Oh, I guess this is a prayer room. Uh, do you know where we can talk to Imam here? Imam? Yeah. Yes, Imam. Why? Huh? Why? We would like to interview uh, about about uh, Filipino Muslims. Yes, Imam. We are going to interview. Yes. We are going to interview. Yes. 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 Imam may tried. <laughs> 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 Uh -huh. Also, yeah, are you Chinese? I am, but I cannot speak Chinese. Oh, it's, it's okay, it's okay. So, uh, are you the Imam here? No, 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 I'm not the Imam. No, no, no. The Imam is, uh, the imam is in the. You, you want? I'll bring you to him. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring you there. We'd love to speak to the Imam here. Okay, so, okay, okay, hold on. So, so, uh, so, are you Chinese? I, I was, uh, yes, I was. Filipino uh, Chinese. Yeah, yeah, Filipino oh. Chinese. I'll bring you there. We'll okay, go there okay, we'll go. okay, thank you. Wait, are you from here? No, no, I'm from China. Oh, okay. Where, where in China? Uh, Xinjiang. Oh, okay. So, yeah. So, uh, you, you are Filipino Chinese, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I, I, I was born here. You born here. But I grew up in Canada. You, bo you grew up in Canada? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. And then I came back here. And you came back here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so now you are living in Manila? I live in Manila now. Oh. Yeah. How, how long have you, have you been here? Three years. Three years? Yeah, we have been living here. Where do you live? Around here? We, li we live in Pasay City right now. Oh, Pasay? Yeah, yeah. 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 He's also from Canada. Uh, he is also from Canada. Yeah, yeah. He's also from Canada. But now he also lives here. Oh. These are, uh, these are uh, two friends from uh, Xinjiang. Xinjiang. They're from Xinjiang. Xinjiang. Yeah. Uh, they were at the masjid. They want to talk to a representative of the mosque, so I decided to bring him to you. They want to make uh, our mosque high tech. Also, yeah, like we, we, uh, we like to you. interview you. Please sit. Thank you. Sir. Assalamu alaikum. Waalaikum salam. Yes, sir. Sangat muda. Please take your seat. Yes, sir. Uh, what can I do? Yes. Uh, would you mind to introduce us a little bit about the mosque here? Yeah? Uh, this mosque has been here since 1976. 1976. Oh, it was almost here, 40 years or uh, more than 40 years. Yeah. It was uh, through the initiative of the government and uh, government of Libya then. Oh. Libya before. Okay. So this was built, and this is the 
this mosque came before the Muslim community. Before the Muslim community? Yes. Oh. This mosque was built when there was very few Muslims around. Yes. So when this mosque uh, was firmly established, the Muslim community grew up around the mosque. Oh. So, so most of the residents here are from, uh, from Mindanao, right? Uh, basically, mostly are from Mindanao and some also are, but uh, younger people may be born here. Oh, Maybe their parents originally are from Mindanao. Okay, understood. So, uh, uh, have you ever read any news about uh, Xinjiang? So Xinjiang uh, province, the northwest China. Yeah, northwest China. Oh. Uh, it's a, uh, it's uh, actually it's a uh, Muslim region. Uyghur. Uh, Uyghur Muslims. Yeah. Are you from that? Uh? Yeah, I'm, I'm from Xinjiang. <laughs> yeah. How about you? Yeah, she, she's not from. She's from another province. We heard, we read news, but uh, some things need to be verified. Some maybe we could believe uh, per se or not is uh, being told. Oh. But, so, uh, yeah, because we sympathize with any sufferings among humanity. What more if they are Muslims? Okay. But uh, there is always reason, you know. Sometimes it just happened that they are Muslims. Their religion is Islam, and they live in that particular part of the country. Yeah, For okay. me, I sympathize all, even animals that are suffering. But if we look at China from a broader, uh, yeah, a broader view, yeah. broader uh, spectrum, there are Muslims in Beijing, in Shanghai, yes, yes, in exactly. Guangzhou, in Lanzhou. Yes, yes, exactly. Uh, and they are not uh, being suspected by the government of uh, separatist uh, ideas. So, just like here in the Philippines, there might be some problem between the Muslims and the government in the south. But we don't have problem here with uh, Malacanang, the president's palace is just one kilometer away. Oh, Malacanang is just uh, one kilometer away. Yes, here. you can walk. So oh. we don't have problem with the seat of government. But if you look at some parts of Mindanao, there might be problem between the Muslims living in that particular uh, province yes, yes. with the government that is, uh, you know, uh, governing that uh, particular area, maybe the army or uh, the police. So for me, I sympathize with the people of Xinjiang, the Uyghur, but the way I look at it, not all of them are suffering. Maybe some that are accused by the government or suspected by the government. It might be true, it might be false. But I still search, still many Xinjiang people are working with the government, they are with the security forces. So in Philippines, for us, Alhamdulillah, I, I noticed some Muslims are promoting this Uyghur, Uyghur uh, problem. I said, okay, it's uh, true, but I know that it is a very particular, very isolated. I know that some Muslims are even in the top position of the Communist Party of China. Uh, yes, of course. China. Yes. Uh, Actually, there are many government officials are Uyghurs, you know, uh, yes. and also Korean Muslims, Kazakhs. They are in Beijing. Yeah, even they are living, uh, working in Beijing as yes. a high level of... High level officials. Uh, so yeah. I said it's a small problem that we should not uh, allow media to... To spread the yes. rumors. rumors. <laughs> for me, uh, my advice for my Xinjiang Muslim brothers, this uh, mentality of uh, separation, because of race, because of, uh, because of the religion. religion, it does not work and it will not work. The world is getting smaller. Yes, yes, exactly. We not necessarily that Philippines would become a part of China, but relation is too much. We are using Chinese food. China is buying raw materials from the Philippines. We are eating noodles. And China is uh, buying our seafood. So. Yeah, we are Look at China. me, you will find something made in China. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> we we'll cooperate with each other. So, yeah. we just say what we want. Then, no need to separate, no need to fight, no need to argue. Because it's a world that is moving, you know? Moving forward. We have no time to... This is my race, this is my religion. We have to respect. 
He said, respect my religion, I will respect you. If you will not respect my religion, in Islam still we have to respect you. You understand? This is how Islam teaches us. I am a Muslim and you will not respect my religion. I still have to respect your religion. This is Islam. This is Islam. Yeah. For me, because I've studied history, I studied uh, politics, geopolitics, I understand the reason of these Uyghur people in Xinjiang. They say culturally, historically, we are not, uh, not part of China. <laughs> part of China. Yeah. But if you will also listen to the history of China since the Tang Dynasty, yeah, Tang Dynasty. <laughs> Up to northern Iran, they, yeah, no, no, yeah. <laughs> they could also claim that. Yes, yes. So, which is which? What is important? For example, me, I'm born in Philippines, I grew up here, some of my kids are born in Manila. Why should I say separate from Philippines? We are already in a nation state situation, and these nation states are creating alliances. So they might be nobody. No country is perfect. Yes, no America, country is perfect. America, yes. America is the capital of democracy. But you see what happened to them. Still, people are complaining. Yes, the black ma black matter. Ah. Right. UK is supposed to be the model for uh, a modern uh, society. But still, there are many complaints against the government now, even against the royal family. Yes, yes. Okay. So, what would you expect from China? China is not a uh, democracy. Yeah, China is not a democracy. So, we have to be realistic, we have to admit what is there. So hopefully the Chinese government will be more lenient to its people, because it is their own people. Yes, exactly. Yes. And these people also, uh, our Uyghur brothers, they should also think we are in China, so why not live with the progress of China? <laughs> you see? Yes. For example, me, even if I don't look Chinese, I live in one part of China, I would be proud of being a Chinese. And I have to admit, okay, this is the communist government, but they made China the number two economy in the world. And hopefully the uh, number one economy after uh, 20 years, I should go and live according how China is developing its country and its people. For me, for me personally, Okay, if Xinjiang will get out of China completely, yes. move to another country, I think they would not be as developed as they are now. Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yes. We have to use our uh, mind and be realistic. Just, what just is like uh, some, some Kazakhstan, like Uzbekistan, like Tajikistan, they used to be part of uh, the US, USSR, right? Like our case, yes. I will tell you. Sabah, Malaysia. You so heard this. Sabah, Malaysia. There's yes. a Philippine claim. Oh, because it's uh, related to the Sulu yeah. Sultanate. Yeah. But when I go to Sabah, I see. I think Sabah is more better with Malaysia. Yeah, more developed, developed <laughs> compared to. <laughs> they the have more uh, economic development, yeah. less corruption, peace and order than if they are part of. Philippines or Mindanao. <laughs> so we have to accept these uh, things. So uh, I'm also curious about uh, the, the Muslims here in Manila and uh, can, can Muslims, Filipino Muslims here get along with uh, Christians? That's why I'm telling you, we get along with all Christians. Here in Manila? Yes, and Christians also get along with Muslims in Mindanao. So what's the problem? Actually, people have no problem with uh, each other. Right? Some very few minority elements who are uh, maybe misguided, who are very emotionally motivated. All right, guys. Uh, I guess that's it for today's video. And um, yeah, it's prayer time. So uh, I think it's time for us to leave. And I'd like to know what's your opinion on my conversation with Imam and then the, let me know in the comment section, okay? Alright, okay, we'll see you in the next video, bye bye!